Hey there, it's Peter, the mechanic at Beach Bikes here. Today, I'm going to answer the question, what's the difference between external gears and internal gears? We have one bike with external gears and a bike here with internal gears. We'll start with the external gears first, okay? They both have their advantages and, uh, and attributes. This is the external gears right here, where the gears are actually external to the hub. You can actually see the gears. Um, each of the, the cogs here that has teeth on them, this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay? And it's shifted by a mechanism called the derailleur, which has two pulleys, which guide the chain to each of the gears. This derailleur moves in and out. Um, so it, it's a very good system. This is the traditional system. It's a good, strong system. It has a wide range. But let's move over to the internal gears and see what this is. This is a much cleaner looking system. It actually looks like a single speed because there's only one cog in the back here. So this is always, the chain is always right here. It doesn't move anywhere. So it's a little um, stabler in that sense. There's a small shifting mechanism right here that pushes a pin inside and out of the, of the rear axle, which actually activates mechanisms inside of this hub where all the gears are situated. Okay? Now, what are the advantages of each? The internal hub is, has a cleaner look. It also has less maintenance. Um, and it's a, little bit, it's a little bit simpler for the operator. The external gears here that will give you, can give you a much wider range um, of options. And uh, one other thing I should mention is that if you get an external gear bike, you will always have handbrakes. The coaster brake is not an option with the external gears. However, with the internal gears, it will almost always be a coaster brake, but not always. We have one model called the Every that gives you the option of the handbrake and the internal gear shifting mechanism. So there you go.